Okay. Okay, so let me tell you the big story. Well, ALBA is one of the three units of the American College of Greece. The American College of Greece um, is an independent nonprofit organization. It's an American institution uh, which was uh, uh, founded 150 years ago. Uh, it has a, a full education, um, uh, primary school, elementary school, high school, uh, and then uh, undergraduate studies and postgraduate studies. ALBA is the graduate business school of the American College of Greece. So imagine that we have a huge institution in Greece with uh, a lot of students every year and uh, with a, a big pool of alumni. And the alumni part is the most important thing, I, I think, for the graduate business school because uh, because of the networking, that it's very important in order to find a job afterwards. So the Alba Graduate Business School, it's also a nonprofit organization. The, the unit, the Graduate Business School, it started 30 years uh, um, ago. Uh, the campus of the Alba Graduate Business School is downtown, close to the Athens city center. Um, I think uh, we are one of the oldest business schools in, uh, in Athens and uh, with a lot of programs uh, and uh, with a lot of, um, uh, uh, with a lot of um, to the business community. So, and why do I say that? Because first of all, the, the MBA in shipping and the MSc in shipping programs, they have, uh, first of all, a shipping business advisor committee, uh, which consists of the 18 top shipping companies in Greece. Uh, these people come every uh, one or two years and they discuss about the trends and about the new uh, establishment, establishments in the shipping uh, community and the curriculum of the programs of the two programs, it's uh, uh, updated and revised accordingly. So uh, the content of the academic programs is assessed first of all, and then it's revised. So it's very up to date, let's say. And it's very important to have this proximity to the business community because we have a, a very good network for our uh, alumni to find a job um, globally, because these shipping companies, they are not only in Greece, but they are all over the world. Um, and uh, it's very important for the quality of the program and the relevance of the program. So if you can see, I don't know how many of you do, for instance, knows, know about the Posidonian uh, big uh, expo that happens every two years in Greece, the biggest uh, shipping uh, expo. Um, this is a place where you find uh, Alba booth every time and a lot of the companies are there and uh, we have the connection with them. As you can see here, the one of the pictures is from uh, one of the company visits that we do with the class every year. Um, one very important thing, uh, important element of the programs is that they are both accredited. We have, accre the, we have accreditation for our program. So the, the MBA in shipping is accredited by the AMBA Association, the Association of MBAs. This is an international accreditation body. Uh, also our MSc programs, two of our MSc programs are accredited by FMD. Uh, the, the whole school, the American College of Greece is accredited by NITSE, which is an American accreditation body. And, uh, um, and uh, uh, it's also accredited by the Institute of Chartered Sea Brokers, ICS, which is the only internationally recognized professional body in the maritime. Um, and, uh, the graduates of the program are eligible for three exceptions from the ICS uh, qualification. Uh, we are also a member of BIMCO, the world's la largest direct membership organization for ship owners, charter ship brokers and agents. 
And uh, all ALBA shipping students, they have access to BIMCO. Um, and uh, they, they also receive discounts on uh, BIMCO products. Now, the, shipping, the two shipping programs, the MBA in shipping and the MSc in shipping management, are also supported by Vista Elas, the Hellenic Ship Brokers Association, the International Propeller Club, the Masters and Mates Union of the Greek Merchant Marine, the International Community in Maritime and Ocean Professionals, NAME, and, the, and also the Green Award. So there is a big network of uh, association and companies that they are close to these uh, two programs. And this also affects the ranking of these two programs because that uh, the emission shipping management uh, is ranked every year from the Ed universal best master ranking. And uh, it's uh, in the top 20 uh, shipping programs in the world. Now, let me tell you a few things about the faculty of ALBA. Um, the academic faculty, the resident faculty of ALBA, it's up to date. Um, and uh, they collaborate uh, continuously with the business community. Um, as I told you earlier, the, the curriculum is revised every year, depending on the, on the discussions that we have with the shipping community in Greece. Um, there is a active learning procedure where um, uh, there is a lot of class interaction, tutorials, there are office hours, direct communication with the faculty members. I have some names here. Maybe these names do not say anything to you, uh, but uh, when you receive these uh, uh, presentation after the, the webinar, you will be able to access the names and see the full list in the link uh, which is provided here. Um, they're very, um, let's say, we have uh, collected, we have selected the best people in the best positions to talk about their specific subjects. So you're going to learn from really top executives and faculty uh, in the specific subject areas. Let's go now program by program, the MBA in shipping program. Be your future. Okay, so C as the C and not C. <laughs> Who is it for? Uh, first of all, it's for people who have, uh, who are master, masters or chief engineers. So they have to be captains or chief engineers to apply for the MBA in shipping program. Uh, and you need to be highly motivated, uh, professional. Maybe you are a member of a family shipping business company uh, who would like to advance in the corporate ladder. Uh, the most important thing for the MBA in shipping is that you need to have at least three years of working experience, of solid working experience. And if you are a marine, mariner, you need to be master or chief engineer in a ship. Uh, to give you uh, some data, the class average uh, working experience right now, it's seven to 10 years. So we are talking about experienced uh, people, experienced marines uh, who have a lot of I would say leadership experience to get in the classroom. And why we, we need that? Because the MBA um, is not only just a ther theoretical uh, um, learning experience for the, for the students. The students who participate in the MBA, they, they get the MBA learning experience. And uh, in the MBA class, you don't only learn from your professors, but mostly you learn from each other. So the students who are in the MBA classroom, they have a lot of experiences to share, a lot of cases to, to transfer in the classroom from their working experience. Uh, that's why we need to have people with leadership uh, skills there are people who have already experienced uh, working in teams and who have uh, experience in managing a team. 
Um, what is the career, the future career prospects? First of all is to advance in the corporate ladder. That's the reason why you're looking for a master anyway. But the, with the MBA, I think you have um, more options. Uh, you can get more managerial positions. You can advance in um, director's uh, positions in any kind of shipping company, but not only because the MBA uh, is is open for other uh, for other industries as well. So maybe you want to work in logistics or supply chain. So if you are interested in becoming a supply chain director or a logistics director in a big uh, transportation company, this is also another program for you, the MBA uh, in shipping. But of course, the most, uh, most of the uh, alumni of this program, they find jobs in big maritime firms you know, as in the operations department, the crew department, chartering, um, any any kind of department of the of the shipping companies, and they get the the higher positions of uh, directors. The courses, because it's an MBA, it has all the MBA courses that you can find in all the other programs of MBA in other universities. But what makes the difference is the red courses, uh, which are related to shipping. So you will have a lot of ship technology, maritime law, maritime business and finance, marine insurance, shipping consulting project. There will be a, a field consulting project. Your dissertation will focus on shipping. Uh, cheap chartering, uh, strategic management for shipping services. So you will have a lot of shipping courses, but also all the other MBA courses that you need to, to go through to transform yourself and, and develop your leadership skills. So the program is 12 months. Uh, it started the second week of September. Uh, this means that all students need to be in Greece, in Athens, by the first week of September. It's a full-time program. 12 months, it's an intensive program. All class, of course, is in English. Uh, to give you um, an idea of the workload, uh, during the year, you will have uh, courses that are eight weeks long. So the year is uh, divided in five periods. Every two months, you start new courses, starting from September, then November, January, March, um, uh, May. So you start new courses every two months. Uh, in these eight weeks, you will have group projects. You will have exams for each of the courses. And the, the classes will be uh, in the afternoon. And why in the afternoon? Because most of the students, the Greek students who participate in the program, they are professionals. They are working already. Remember, I told you, you need to have at least three years of working experience. So this means that the courses start at six and finish at 10 in the evening. Um, the international students in the class are, is the 10%. On average, we have a 10% uh, uh, international students in the MBA in shipping program. The mode of delivery is in campus, of course, you never know with COVID, so sometimes we can uh, have cases where you have to do uh, Zoom courses, but not in not this case anymore. So thank God. And it's a very intensive and difficult program. And why I say difficult? Because you need to have a GPA 2.3 out of 4 in order to graduate and get the MBA. If you get less than 2.3 GPA, this means that you get only a certificate of attendance and not a degree. Uh, for every course, you have a, limited, uh, a limit of absences. Uh, so you cannot be away from the class. You have to be there, you have to be present. And the part-time MBA option, because I know that people will ask for it, is offered only to those who work during their studies. 
And uh, as you will have to get a student visa to be here, with a student visa in Greece, you are not allowed to work. I'll tell you about this later on. But uh, in that case, this means that you cannot do the part-time MBA anyway. It has to be the full-time MBA in your case. Now let's take a small test. So, Gaurav, do you want to share the, the poll? Yes. I want to see whether you, you listen to me. How many years of working experience are required for the MBA in shipping program? Okay. How many participants do we have? 22. Okay, 10 people didn't respond. Either they don't know the answer or they don't listen to me at all. <laughs> okay, so I repeat. You need to have at least three years of working experience uh, in order to be able to participate and admit it in the MBA in shipping program. Okay, let's move to the next program, the MSC in shipping management program. So the MSC in shipping management program it has uh, a lot of similarities with the MBA in shipping, but one of the most important differences is that the working experience is not necessary. So the people who apply for this program are mostly officers of the, of the, of the merchant marine, not captains or chief engineers. And there are people who want to switch their career and they want to change from, um, from maybe logistics or supply or from other sectors. Uh, and they want to, to focus in the shipping industry. They want to find a job there. So maybe uh, they also are members of a family business in shipping and they want to learn more. They want to get the theoretical knowledge about shipping management. So we have a lot of diversity in this uh, specific program. You get all the theoretical knowledge about shipping management. Uh, you become familiar with technical legal terms, um, anything that you need to know in order to work in operations, in, uh, in chartering, in crew management. Uh, you, of course, develop also some of your soft skills like problem solving, uh, presentation skills, team working skills. Uh, but it's uh, it's not a, it's not the same like the MBA. Uh, there is a difference, and you can see also um, in the in the curricula when you get in the website. Um, of course, you can become. Uh, maritime uh, professional, uh, you get in shipping companies in any kind of department after you finish this specific program. And here you can see all the courses are shipping related. <clears throat> and, uh, it's, uh, and it's also an intensive program like the MBA. Um, and you, you have, uh, I think, uh, more um, most of the courses, uh, even the, the accounting uh, course or uh, the management course you have, they are all related to shipping. So they are shipping relevant uh, courses. This program is also 12 months. They, uh, this program starts on the second week of September. It's a full time. Everything is in English. Group project exams for each course, exactly the same structure like the MBA courses that I mentioned earlier. Um, classes again are six to 10. And the reason for that is because we also have professionals who work during their studies. So anything start after six o'clock. Again, the GPA is 2.3 out of four in order to get the degree. Limited absences are allowed. And uh, 
the number of international students, I think, in this program is a little bit higher uh, than the other ALBA programs. We have uh, a lot of students coming from Norway uh, who apply for this program. Um, also students from India, students from um, US, uh, from Egypt. We have different kinds of nationalities uh, every year uh, applying to this specific program. And another uh, thing, uh, something that is not uh, in the MBA program is that uh, the MSc in management, uh, in shipping management program has an apprenticeship. The apprenticeship, what does this mean? It's like the internship, let's say, but because of the immigration law in Greece, where the students with the student visa are not allowed to work officially, uh, instead of internship, we call it apprenticeship. So the apprenticeship, it means that you are like a student going to a company, observing the way the company does their job. Uh, of course, you, you work and you get experience, but uh, we avoid to call it that way in order to be legal uh, in the framework of the immigration labor law. And this apprenticeship is unpaid. You don't get a salary for that. And it's upon, it is upon availability. It depends on which companies are available for this specific uh, uh, apprenticeship uh, experience. Uh, alternatively, if you don't do the internship or apprenticeship upon availability here in the courses, uh, you can do the dissertation or you can do two extra modules at the last period. So there are options for those who will not be able to do the apprenticeship at the end of the program. Now let's take another small test. See how many people are following. Unpaid internship is part of the curriculum of which program? Okay. Most of the people listen to me, but I think that there is a, there are two people who, who insist on not listening <laughs> and a few more that they do not uh, reply. Okay, so the M Machine Shipping Management Program has the apprenticeship, the internship. The MBA in shipping program doesn't have apprenticeship or internship because it, it, it means that you work during your MBA. And as an international student, of course, you do not work, but you find a job right after you finish your program. Okay. Now, Let's go deeper to the career and the uh, alumni office. The most important reason why we are doing the master program, I think is because we want to find a better job after we graduate. And how do we prepare you for that? We have a very strong career office where you will do a lot of uh, workshops. You will uh, participate in career panels. You will visit the companies. You will uh, uh, participate in alumni networking events. There is a big alumni ambassadors network all over the world. So you will have access to, to ALBA alumni um, in countries like India, like Norway, like uh, London, uh, in, uh, in UK. So you will have a lot of uh, opportunities to meet people. Uh, we will have one-to-one -one coaching sessions if you need to, to search more and see where you can look for a job, the career office uh, offers this, uh, offer this coaching. Um, there will be for the machine shipping management students, the internship opportunities for apprenticeship. And at the end of the program, we have a dedicated career forum 
where you can actually meet and get and do interviews with uh, Greek shipping companies. The student experience. Um, the master, uh, the MSC in shipping management program, the MBA in shipping program, every year they go for a field trip. Uh, in different countries. Uh, the last uh, two years, I think it, it was in Norway. So they visited the uh, uh, shipping companies in Norway. The, the meetings and the lectures were organized, of course, by uh, the uh, ALBA alumni who live in Norway and they work in big shipping companies there. Uh, in the past, we have been to London a lot of times, and also uh, we have been to Brussels and uh, Antwerpen uh, visiting uh, shipping companies. So every year you have to follow the field trip that is organized in Europe. There are a lot of uh, Greek shipping companies visit, as I mentioned. Uh, approximately seven company visits per year. So you should expect that you're going to meet a lot of people. You will visit vessels on board. Uh, you will have speakers in the class. 30 to 35 people per year get in the classroom and uh, uh, speak to the, uh, present uh, their subject to, to, their, to their class. Um, the field trip I mentioned it takes place in May. And uh, the placement after your graduation in shipping companies is 95% three months after graduation. What does this mean? That 95% of the class has find, uh, have find a, a new uh, shipping job three months after the graduation. And uh, the alumni clusters, are at Norway, in Singapore, in Dubai, Malta, in Cyprus. So there are plenty of different uh, uh, options for networking abroad. Tuition fees. Of course, the MBA in shipping is more expensive than the MSc in shipping management. It's a more intensive program with uh, more courses. So you, you can also see the difference in the, in the pricing. But funding opportunities, uh, from the amounts you can see here, the international students are eligible for partial merit scholarship up to 15%. It depends on how excellent is your application. If you provide, if you uh, submit a very good application with very good essays, very good reference letters, your, your GPA from your bachelor studies is very high, so this means that you can get up to 15% on, on your tuition fee scholarship. And if your application comes through CN Beyond and uh, we get the nomination from CN Beyond, then you get an extra 5%. So there are funding opportunities up to 20% for you if you want to apply in one of these two programs. Admissions, admission process. Um, by mid of May, you need to do the application online. Right now we are middle of April. The application in order to be prepared doesn't take long because everything is online. It's a platform, you just get in, you fill in the sections, you write the two essays, the three essays. The three essays need to be 300 words each. You don't need to write a huge essay, just 300 words. Uh, we need the copies of your previous bachelor degrees and certificates. We need two recommendation letters. If you are a young graduate, please provide one letter, uh, two letters from your professors, from your bachelor degree. Or if you are working, we would like to have a reference letter also from your supervisor or your, ma or, or your manager. We need evidence of fluency in English. Um, the truth is uh, most of the bachelors in India, they are in English anyway. So if you have a bachelor taught entirely in English, then you don't need uh, an extra proof of English. But 
for the visa application, the student permit application in Athens, you will need to provide an English exam results, English test results. So it will be good if you can provide the TOEFL or ILTS or Duolingo as well, we accept it. And then you need to, to submit the passport and the face photo and, and your CV in English. So everything is uploaded in the, in the platform. And then you follow the steps from the admission uh, department, the admission process. Uh, we will uh, ask you to, to have a um, video call interview. Uh, we, will we will evaluate your application. Uh, I think there's also an application fee that you need to pay, which is 60 euro for evaluating the application. And then the final decision after the faculty evaluation, it comes by the academic director. The academic director, he decides on whether you are accepted or rejected. And also he decides on the final percentage of your scholarship. As I mentioned earlier, how much was the scholarship I mentioned earlier? 15% the merit uh, scholarship plus 5% if it comes from C and beyond. So in order to get this 15%, the academic director is the one who will decide how good was your application. And then the registration, it needs to be done before mid of June. Uh, and the registration, what does this mean? You need to pay the 40% of your tuition fees. Uh, this is the registration fee. The remaining 60% of your tuition fee will be paid in installments after you start your program. The final installment, I think, is on April next year. And then after you pay your registration fee, then we start the student visa application together. We, uh, we have a special department who assist the students with all the documents that they, uh, they need. And also uh, they contact the, the embassy for, uh, for further assistance there. And then uh, we have the provision, we have some furnished apartments. So if you need accommodation, by middle of June, of June uh, we need you, your application for the housing as well. First week of September, you need to be here. So this is very clear. I have a question here that maybe it's, uh, uh, it's good to be answered here. Uh, the IELTS score required for, for the visa, for the visa is the general one. It doesn't, it doesn't, be, it doesn't have to be the academic. Sometimes they also, for the visa, they even ask for lower scores. They don't care about the C1 level. They can accept the B2 level as well. And uh, the previous question was that uh, the courses offered are flexible and adaptable to online methods. Thanks to everyone. Allow me to bow out. Thanks. Okay. Uh, if we are asking for online, there is another program, Online MBA, which is Shipping Specialization, which is another program. And this is not part of the specific uh, scholarship mode that we offer here with C and Beyond. But if you are interested on this specific program, uh, you can email me and I can send you more information about this. Or also um, C and Beyond can uh, give you information about this. So, Students travel to Athens by the first week of September. And what else do we support? Until now, I can tell you that we provide the student visa support. We provide free private health insurance for the whole duration of the studies, free legal support for student permit application. Um, we uh, pay the commission fee to the government for the immigration office for your student permit application. We provide services for bank account opening, for tax number issuing, for the housing, doctors, medical assistance you might need. So anything, any kind of assistance that you need, we can provide you with assistance.
So the academic office uh, of the school is very supportive in anything that has to do with the academic, uh, with the courses, with the faculty, uh, with um, the, the projects that you have. So you get a lot of assistance from the academic office and of course the international office uh, with all the uh, services I mentioned earlier. So how it feels being an ALBA student? Um, ALBA, as I told you, is in the city center of Athens. It's close to the US embassy. It's a five floors building. Um, we have 12 classrooms, seven amphitheaters, study rooms, library, student lounge. It's a small building. It's not a huge campus, the downtown campus where the ALBA is uh, uh, located. Uh, I have also a link here in my presentation to, to go and have a tour uh, of the campus and see the classrooms. Uh, it's a small school. So uh, if when you get in the business school, you're not going to get lost. It's only one building of five floors, and um, we are very close to each other. And something that it's very important is that the Alba students, they feel a lot of customer service. Uh, because we have a small number of students, the whole intake of all the Alba MBA and MSc programs, because Alba also has MBAs, MS in finance, marketing, and any other uh, business uh, subject in, in different disciplines, the, the total number of the intake is no more than 350 students per year. So this means that we are a small school with a small number of students, so with more flexibility to provide better customer service and more personalized, customized service to our students. You can see some pictures here. Here you can see the building here. Can you see the building? Yeah, I hope you can see it. Um, okay, and some of the uh, amphitheaters here. But except the small campus downtown where Alba is located, we also have the American College of Greece uptown main campus, which is a big campus, like the one that you see in the US universities, the big US universities. It is located 20 minutes by car from Alba. And uh, you, you will have access to that, uh, to that uh, uh, campus. Uh, with a gym, swimming pool. It's a huge swimming pool. The swimming pool you can see in the picture here. It was used by the U.S. swimming team at the Olympic Games in Athens. So for their training. So it's it's a big campus, and you will have access uh, to this campus as well. Now apartments. I mentioned to you that we have some furnished apartments. The furnished apartments, um, they per month, the cost is 450 euro per month. All bills are included in this 450 euro. They are fully furnished. Uh, we provide technical support. Uh, it's very close to, to Alba. They are single or shared apartments, five minutes work, the, there are two shared apartments that the maximum is 20 minutes walk. You don't need transportation to, to, to go to come to the campus from, uh, from uh, these apartments. And even in the shared apartments, you have your own bedroom. Now, important question. What happens after the graduation? I mentioned to you that the student visa D.4.1 that you are going to get in order to come and study in Athens, in Greece, does not give permission for work during your studies or after you graduate this student visa. To work in Greece, you need a working visa. 
So this means that you finish your studies first, you finish the program, you find the company that uh, is willing to recruit you, and then you go back in India and you apply for a working visa with a sponsor, uh, with the sponsorship of the company. Okay, so this is the procedure. During your studies, you will not be able to work. There are some options, some alternatives, I would say, not uh, options that uh, um, uh, are according to the immigration law. Uh, for Greek shipping companies, the Greek, uh, Greek shipping companies, they have uh, 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 headquarters in other countries. So we have seen some examples where the students are employed as uh, employees in another country, and they work in Greece as expatriates. So this is another kind of alternative solution in finding a job in Athens. But the options for jobs are global. They are not only in Athens, because the Greek shipping companies, they have offices everywhere. So that's why we uh, say that do not keep your mind only for finding a job in Greece. Uh, and there are also options to apply for a work visa in other European countries, uh, since you will have finished a master program in a European university. Um, let me move to... to the next one. This is a fun question from Gaurav. I think uh, we can have another small poll. Which place would you like to visit in Greece? Please write in the chat window. So I'm waiting for you to write in the chat in which place you would like to visit in Greece. Which, where would you like to go? Athens, okay. Where else? Do you know any other? Everybody wants to go to Athens. Come on, open your chat and Mykonos. Okay, Sadorini. Athens. Okay, it's the two islands. Crete. Okay, Sadorini. Okay, so there are plenty of places to visit uh, in, uh, in uh, Greece. In Athens, of course, you can find Acropolis, which is uh, one of the most, um, the oldest ancient uh, monuments where you can find uh, in the world. So it's, it's, a, it's a bucket list uh, thick, I think, Acropolis and Sadorini, of course. Uh, let me tell you a few things about uh, Greece and Athens. So where is Alba? Alba is in Greece. Here you can see the map of, uh, of Greece. Athens is in the center. As you can see, there are so many different islands in the area where you can actually go and visit. The second biggest uh, city is Thessaloniki on the north. Uh, but you can, uh, uh, I think you can take a ferry and go to any kind of the islands and also take a, uh, and drive, take a car and drive to, to the mainland. In Athens, as you can see the, the, the map in the, in the right, uh, we are located downtown in Athens. Athens is next to Piraeus. Piraeus is the largest passenger port in Europe connected with Athens. In Athens, English is widely spoken. There is a big coastline, if you can see here, it's a big coastline with vivid beach life, uh, especially in the spring summer time. In Athens, the metro lines are very extended. So there, there is easy transportation to move around in Athens. And in general, we consider Athens as a safe city.
and out of curiosity, we have another question for you. Are you interested for this course? Yes or no, or I need more information. If you are interested, when are you applying? Uh, when are you planning to apply for the master program? This year or next year? Okay, I, I can see that the, you need more information. And I also noticed from the questions in the chat that uh, some people, they are more interested in um, more flexible ways of learning like online. Uh, in that case, as I mentioned, we have the online MBA in shipping. So uh, I suggest that you contact uh, CN Beyond to get more information about this specific program uh, because it has different pricing, it has a different structure, uh, it doesn't have uh, the same intake like uh, the MBA in the MSc in shipping management. It doesn't start in September, it starts during the whole year. You can start anytime. There are five different uh, uh, starting points. So uh, if you're interested on the online program, I think you should contact the um, CN Beyond and uh, get more information because in my presentation, I didn't have any information about this program. So, but there is an option for, for you. And I see here that you need more information. Uh, six said that you need more information. Only one is happy with what uh, uh, you hear. And um, uh, okay, so only one actually said that I'm not interested in this course. Um, I think we should open now the floor for more questions. Gaurav, what do you say? Absolutely. Uh, and uh, so what I can do is I can quickly just uh, share uh, uh, some snippets on how CN Beyond could help uh, uh, the students as well. Uh, so I, I can just do that in the next couple of minutes. And then we can, uh, and in the meanwhile, all of you, if you can just write down questions, uh, uh, whatever questions you have, if you can just write it down in the chat window and we'll take it quickly after this uh, um, short uh, uh, presentation as well. Sorry, give me a minute. I think I opened the wrong PPT. Okay. Are you able to see the presentation? Yes. Okay. So to everyone, uh, um, how could C and Beyond help you? Um, right. Um, so in terms of, um, you know, whenever you are looking for something which is maybe uh, not um, um, in your comfort zone, with, with, with something which is foreign, right, you might need some assistance as to how to apply, uh, what forms to submit, how to submit, uh, where can we do the IELTS if required. So, you know, there's, there are, the Tejal is there, there's another education counselor. We can assist you in terms of filling up of the forms uh, um, uh, in assisting and licensing with the university as such. Um, in case you need foreign uh, financial assistance in terms of loans and all, we are partnered to a couple of uh, um, uh, universities and which where we could help you, or we could help you in forex remittance as well. So, for example, you want to transfer your uh, fees to the university, you can do it with a credit card, which is probably more expensive. You can go to a bank and do it, or you can do it sitting at home through various means, uh, which is probably cheaper also. So we could uh, assist you uh, over there as well. And most importantly, you know, if, you, if, you, uh, if we support you, there is a chances of you getting an additional 5% scholarship as well, which is why you also mentioned um, uh, a short time back. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much how CN Beyond could assist you with. Uh, there are the contact details and the name of the person who could help you in your journey. And uh, I'm sure Tejal would have put the details in the chat window as well. And you can connect with us uh, or, or my uh, counselors as well anytime uh, for a discussion. 
Yeah, so I've stopped sharing the screen. And uh, so before to take Pinaki's question, uh, Zoe, I had another question which came directly to me earlier and didn't, didn't take it uh, uh, consciously you know, because I didn't want to disturb your uh, flow. So this was from Yogesh. And Yogesh's question was that, uh, how is the recognition of this course, uh, of this degree, and whether it will help, uh, um, I mean, do the colleges, do the companies um, in Europe recognize the degree? And uh, also with the help of this degree, if someone wants to do a PhD, uh, right, uh, or further education, can they do it anywhere in Europe uh, as such? Okay. Uh, if you remember from the slides, I mentioned about the the accreditations, first of all. So the programs are accredited by international accreditation bodies uh, from US and also uh, globally from the Association of MBAs, uh, from the European Foundation of Management and Development, EFMD. Uh, so this means that the programs are accredited. Of course, the companies who uh, which uh, recruit uh, our alumni they don't really care so much about the accreditation. They care about the school reputation and the connection with the, with the company. So the placement uh, record is 95% of the alumni. They find a job uh, in three months after graduation. So this placement record, this placement percentage is very high. So this is my, I think the, the most important, uh, um, the most important argument that uh, Alba has uh, a very good reputation in the shipping uh, community in Greece. Okay, so uh, that's what you wrote also in the chat right now, the 95% get placed within three months of passing of uh, graduation. Um, another question was that how much is the living expense in Greece and uh, approximately it's 700 euro per month uh, for accommodation and meals. So this you need to keep that in mind. Uh, the current uh, rent of the furnished apartments at Alba is 450 euros per month. Uh, you need to, to estimate another 250 euros for your meals if you cook. If you don't cook, then you need more money. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's obvious. <laughs> um, the average placement packages after completing the course of MBA and similar for MSc. Depends on the company, depends on the department you are going to be employed. Uh, it depends on a lot of things. Um, the shipping companies in Greece, they are not so famous for very high salaries in the junior level. So for the MSc in shipping management graduates who find a job as an assistant in the operations department, they should expect uh, a salary, something close to, I don't know, 1,200 euros per month, 1,400 1, euros per month. I think that's the average for the junior graduate students. Um, for the MBA, uh, for the MBA uh, in uh, in shipping uh, uh, students, the graduate, uh, usually it's higher because they they are not expected to find a job in the junior level. They, usually, they find a job uh, as a, in the managerial level in a department, in operations department, or in a chartering department, or in uh, in the crew department, they get a more managerial role. So in that case, uh, they can go for higher salaries. But still, it depends on the company, it depends on the department. Uh, there are many different, uh, uh, different uh, factors affecting the salary levels. But uh, I think uh, also it depends on where you will find a job. If you will find a job in Greece or you will find a job abroad. Uh, shipping companies abroad, maybe they have better salaries than the Greek shipping companies in junior level, at least. 
Uh, then another question it says experience required a sailing master or master's license will do for MBA. Uh, you need to have the, uh, the license to be a master or a chief engineer. Um, otherwise, you, are, you will not go for the MBA, you will go for the machine shipping management. The question comes more from the uh, perspective that a lot of masters uh, do not have a graduation degree. And uh, so just to address to Ashwin's question that even if you do not have a graduation degree, if you have a master's license uh, that is uh, accredited as a graduation and, and you are eligible to do this MBA, which a lot of other universities don't allow. We do not allow as well. You need to have a bachelor degree. Uh, this means that you will have, a, uh, you need to have a bachelor degree of three, four years uh, of uh, undergraduate studies. No, if you have a master's license, a master COC, uh, uh, so if you, as a master mariner, you allow to uh, a person to then uh, sit in the uh, MBA course. Is that correct? If you are a master, yes. yes. Uh, so, so that so that's what the question from Ashwin is that if you are a master, then you mm -hmm. will be allowing. Um, uh, I, so, um, uh, I, I think uh, this is a master mariner COC not a normal master license. So that's probably just the confusion was. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And, I, yeah. Can you tell me more about the next question, Gaurav? Does MBA allows one, it to- uh, question which has come from Jagannath Das, uh, that's come directly to me. It's not on the chat, uh, this thing. He's a third engineer. Uh, so he's uh, sailing at an operations level. Uh, he's 36 years old. And uh, so he's probably, um, and if he would, uh, you know, touch upon that a person, 36 year old person at an operations level sailing on uh, merchant ships, what kind of role could he get into um, uh, after, and he's probably eligible for the MSc, uh, what kind of role could an engineer get into? I think the operations department. Sorry, I have to mute. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the operations department is more uh, uh, more relevant to his working experience. I think this is uh, what he should look for. Or that, I don't know. I think this question uh, will be answered uh, by the academic director of the program after uh, and after he starts the program, he will have meetings with the academic director of the program and also with the career director of the career office director in order to discuss these kind of details. But uh, I think uh, with the profile that you mentioned, mostly the operations department in the shipping company would fit his profile most. Okay. Um, so Jagannath, almost 95% of people do get placed and there are various openings depending on your liking, depending on your interest, uh, you know, you could apply and possibly get placed. Um, you know, we can uh, also connect it later and, and, and connect you uh, you know, with an alum or, or or with the academic director, and if you have any question, then you know uh, they can also answer it uh, at a later stage. Yes, and um, I I want to 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 clarify something here. Um, Alba will not find the job for the for the students. Alba will prepare the students. Uh, to go out and find the job themselves. So that's uh, the most important thing, that we will give you all the tools that you need. We will provide you with all the guidance that you need, the coaching, um, and of course, the networking. So after that, it's up to the people to go and find uh, the job, and depending on how good they are in presenting themselves in the, uh, in the interviews with the companies. Okay, so this is a question from Arjun Rao. Let's take that question first. Uh, Arjun uh, uh, is a ETO, uh, right? 
uh, he's not a master or a chief engineer and he's uh, uh, he, he's checking whether he can pursue an MBA or would MSc be more aligned to him? You, you mentioned the question, does, uh, there are two questions. Does MBA allows ETO license to pursue? Yeah. Um, then he sent a one-on-one uh, -on -one to me. So I'll just club both the questions together. The other one you cannot see. Uh, okay. So he's asking whether the ETO license, whether, you know, he, uh, he can can he apply for an MBA or it will be an MSc for him? I he will have to send me an email so that we can check with the academic director whether it's possible. Um, most of the cases we see case by case uh, the mariners who apply for the program, depending on what is the background, what are the studies, what kind of license they have. So we go case by case. So. He will have to send an email so that we can uh, uh, connect with the academic director who is responsible for selecting the people uh, for the program. Okay, so Arjun, MSc for sure, uh, whether MBA or not, uh, I think that's basis, you know, your experience and all. Uh, we mm -hmm. advise you just, just write and uh, drop an email to Tejal at the rate cnbeyond.com or education at the rate cnbeyond.com and we can assist you further. Yes. And I think the next question also, it's the same mariner presently sailing as chief officer, second engineer on board and have senior license master chief engineer can apply for MBA program. If you have a license of, of chief engineer and master, uh, I think, yes, you can apply for the MBA program. Yep, I think that's what the second uh, second engineer no. Only uh, chief engineer and uh, master. Sure. Okay. So so just license uh, should be okay. If you have a license, you can uh, apply for uh, MBA program. Yes. Okay. Understood. Uh, fine. Yeah, I think the best is to send the email directly to, to C and Beyond, and uh, we will check together whether it's possible, case by case, according to the to the background of each person. Sure. Um, do we have any more questions coming through, please? So, um, um, and if it's okay with you, Zoe, and if there are maybe uh, uh, more persons, say five, seven, eight persons who in a group would like to connect to the alum or the course director, we could arrange that as well. Um, mm. so, so, so if you would like to have a quick 15, 20 minute session with either the alum um, or um, um, the course director, you may just write uh, yes in the chat window. And if we see maybe more than five persons and we have your names, then um, you know one of us can connect with you and then uh, uh, we, we can arrange that session as well. So in case you would like to have a small session, uh, please mention yes in the chat window. Okay, there is a question I can see there that can families be carried on the student visa and accommodated? Uh, the families can get only a 90 days visa, tourist visa to, to come to Greece. They do not get a family visa kind um, together with a the student. They can, get, they can come only for three months and then they can uh, return again after uh, a few months back. So uh, it's not possible right now for someone to bring uh, his family for a long time until uh, for the whole duration of his studies. So it's possible only for, for three months. We had cases in the past where students managed to get the family, but there were students who worked uh, and remotely worked for a company uh, in their home country. 
And when they came to Greece, they applied for a digital nomads visa, which is another kind of visa, is for people who come and work in Greece remotely. Um, and uh, it's a different kind of uh, a visa. It's not a student visa, so it's uh, it's another thing. In that case, uh, you will need to to have a work in India, work remotely. So this means that you are not a mariner. You work uh, in a shipping company uh, in the offices, and you uh, move to Greece to continue working from Greece remotely and study in the same time. This is possible for such cases. We have seen that happen in the, in the past. Okay, understood. Okay, so I didn't see anyone who is interested in uh, talking to uh, uh, Alba alumnus, but if you want to, to be connected with an Alba alumnus, we do have Indian uh, alumnus, uh, alumni, uh, from the Emerson Shipping Management Program, so that I can connect you with uh, them. Sure. Uh, all right. I don't see any more questions coming through. Let me just take one last uh, poll, which is a feedback in terms of um, um, how did you like the webinar? Were your expectations met? Uh, was the session useful for you? And how would you rate the session? Is If there's anything which you would like us to include in the following sessions, um, do let us know and you can write that in the chat window. More than happy to receive uh, you know, uh, feedback in terms of improvements as well, just uh, you know, good things. So, so which will help us to improve as well, please. Um, yeah, so far so good in terms of feedback, right? Yeah, only eight people have replied so far, so. Yeah, can we have more uh, answers for the question as well, please? I entered the poll, so I'm not sure whether they can <laughs> anywhere. I didn't, didn't see that. Anyway, so um, I'm really happy that I had the chance to, to talk to you. Uh, we are at your disposal if you have more questions. Uh, of course, you can contact CN Beyond directly, ask them about the program. They know anything about the two programs. If you have specialized questions, then we discuss it together and you will get your answers. Please. Keep in mind that if you are interested in applying for this intake, you need to apply in the next three, four weeks because the deadline is by the end of May. So we will be happy to receive your application and we will go through together step-by-step step the whole procedure until you come to Athens. So hope to meet you. Sure. Um, thanks for your time, uh, Zoe, and I appreciate you spending uh, um, time in preparation and, uh, of course, uh, time over here. Um, thank you so much. And uh, thank you to all the participants uh, who took out their time and, uh, and, and attended it. Uh, um, if you have any questions, any queries, clarifications, support needed, we are always there to help you and uh, we can liaison for you for the university as well so so thanks everyone for being here and really had a good session thank you thank you captain thank you Tejal. bye thank you